Hello everyone. So today we have something pretty amazing. Finally, you can change the background. You can color match and you can match the lighting of the background with your foreground. Everything in just a single click. So I'll just show you. This was the reference image I used and I'll zoom in. You can see the subject. This woman is actually the same, but I have completely generated this uh, background with flux and the lighting has been changed on her. So you can see the highlights, the lighting behind her hair and everything. And this actually works pretty good. You can see that sometimes it does not understand like this, but it tries to fulfill it in a very uh, natural way. Uh, if there is some kind of edging problem, but in terms of hair, you can see if the hair was not selected properly, which is actually very difficult to like uh, mask out this alpha. It generates the hair, but keeps everything else same wherever it is like uh, the alpha is present. It will generate just there. Other than that, everything else, it will just change the lighting. So there would not be any difference in the tattoos or anything like that. You can see there would not be any difference. The clothes and tattoos. So this is it. This is the whole workflow. So I'll generate one image and then I'll explain how this workflow is working and you'll get all the file links in the description below. I've also put small notes where you have to put these files. So the clip vision files you have to put in this particular location, IP adapter in this location and the IC light, which is as the uh, using the stable diffusion 1.5. You have to put in unit. And this actually uses, if you can see here, nine steps. So I am using the hyperflux to generate the background images of that particular uh, like background. So you would not have difficulty uh, in even like low VRAM. It would not take much time. So with that, I'll just change the background prompt here. Let's make something like So what I de did right now is I changed it professional photo, red gaming room, cyberpunk style lighting, depth of field, uh, high level detailing and perfect lighting. So uh, we can expect something like gaming chairs and stuff like that. So let's just see what happens. So the generation is complete and you can see now it is a red uh, gaming kind of high tech th background. Now, if you are more specific, whether you want like gaming chairs or stuff like that, you can also provide that. But the main point is to see the lighting and uh, it's pretty amazing. You can see because the light here is not red, the reflections here are kind of bluish, the highlights and on this side, it becomes red. So everything you see here, it's pretty awesome. I'll just show you from the starting what is happening. And obviously you can slightly tweak some of these parameters to make it more realistic. I'll just explain what is happening in the workflow because a lot is going on. So if you want, you can tweak a lot of things. Firstly, you would need uh, this Epic Realism. I am using Epic Realism uh, SD 1.5 model. You would need that because the IP adapter we are using with uh, IC Relight, it is basically uh, for stable diffusion 1.5 only. So you need this. You can provide any prompt here, right? You select one image and you give the dimensions. Don't exceed the dimensions uh, above like 1024 because this is SD 1.5, remember? What happens is that it becomes transparent, like uh, the background is removed. It goes to the IP adapter. Now here you would see you would have two files and uh, I am using this one, right? You will have the links in the description below. So get the files, put it in the clip vision folder. Now the IP adapter files, I am using the IP adapter plus. There is also IP adapter light. You can use both of them. I am using the plus one here. 
and put it in the models IP adapter folder. If there is no folder named IP adapter, create one and put it. No problem. And then uh, download the IC Lite uh, model and put it in the unit folder with the same. Uh, it is the same folder where you put all the GGUF files, right? So till now, I think there is no problem. Now after this, you can see an image is being created. This is the image. So it is using like the exact shape and everything, but you can see the person in the subject, uh, the subject is different. It is creating and although like the background is pretty good, but uh, like uh, it doesn't make any sense. And that is the problem with uh, SD 1.5 is that most of the times if you like put computers or screens or windows behind, you would see there are like different artifacts which does not make any sense. So that becomes slightly problematic. So what we are doing is, I'll show you. Now this is the complete flux part, remember. So here I am using the Hyper LoRa. You can also use the Turbo LoRa, but just uh, change the strength model to one if you are using Turbo. Everything else is same, right? So till here, it is pretty much like how we use the flux generation the image we are taking it from here we are converting it into latent and denoising it 0.65 now this is something you can play around with so here you can see in the final image the background is slightly blurred right and uh, what stable diffusion 1.5 creates is uh, slightly more crisp if you want to keep more of these elements, like if you think that the original one has a good background, but you just want to make it more defined and like uh, advanced it. So uh, you can denoise it less or you can take it up to around 0 0.75, 0 0.8, depending on what kind of background and what you want, don't worry about it. So you can slightly play with it. Here we are using control net. So if you don't know how to use control net with flux, don't worry. I'll also provide a link uh, for another video that I have posted where you'll get the whole idea of how to put uh, like the control net files, where to put and what to do. But I'll also give all the details and links of these in the description for the uh, control net files as well. So basically you will need one like uh, depth control net model and uh, you'll have the link in the description. I'm using the depth anything V2 preprocessor, right? Now, what is this? I'll tell you what this is. I was having a problem, I don't know why. When I connect the control net here, right? And uh, I was generating one image, it was generating pretty nicely, right? But then after the first generation, I had an issue where there was one error which uh, showed something like uh, it was some kind of a math error or something like uh, that it uh, already has some extra parameters or something like that i exactly don't remember what that uh, error was and uh, i was always getting that the only loophole i found out was that if i change some parameter in the control net then it was working for the next generation again so if you keep the parameters constant i was getting some kind of a problem and i did not have time to solve it to see why it was getting if i get i'll post it in the comments below so uh, the workaround which i found was that i am taking the end percent you will have the end percent here what i'm doing is that i am generating a random number between 7000 to 8000 right then it is going to a math um, expression and i'm dividing it by 10000 so it becomes 0 0.75 0 0.72 here it is becoming 0 0.750 and every time because this number is different so we'll have a different number here as well the float and the float is going to the end percent so now if you click on q prompt and if you have that error you just click on the q prompt again and it will work like you would not have that error consecutive times because I am slightly changing the end percent and with like between 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 you would not find that much difference. So it's not a big of a deal. 
so and if you want to change it like remember like that if you want to make it somewhere between 0.6 to 0.7 all you can do is change it to 6000 to 7000 that's it so you can do it but other than that it seems pretty good i do not have any uh, problems with it right and now it goes here and you can see it actually this is basically nothing but image to image the only reason i am using control net is because i want to change the background drastically if i want to by increasing the denoise but then it slightly changes the body shape as well and when we overlay this uh, original one it would have like a difference so what we are doing is that we are using the control net depth here so the generation is exactly in the same shape so here and then what we are doing is we are in this process you would notice is that what we are doing is we are taking this particular subject trying to extract the lighting from it and superimpose like you can see there are a lot of blending modes so we are blending it on the original alpha image this one so we are taking this lighting and trying to add it on this right so here you can see we already have a mask for this uh there is the image and you can see there are masks right how it got changed so what we are doing here we are taking this mask of this body shape and with that mask we are combining the background of this image and superimposing the foreground of this and because we are taking the original mask and we are using the depth processor and the ip adapter so the body shape should be pretty perfect so you can see the background is from here but the subject is from this image ip adapter one because uh, even if the, and don't worry a uh, lot of times you would see like messed up fingers bad eyes we just need the lighting we just need the lighting on the clothing and everything and you can see the color retains you do not need eyes and the other things to be perfect so this image has the flux background but the ip adapter foreground right and the last part is this image goes to this complicated section and here what we are doing is we are adding that lighting to our original subject so the lighting gets transferred to our original subject and this is why you can see there are slight glows and everything and uh, on the hand you can see the color from the background so it would at most times match with it because the flux is derived from ip adapter and the ip adapter has been arrived from this particular generation here and also here in terms of color match what we are doing is we are color matching this to the generated one and we are doing the same thing here so this is the generated image here that we generated we are taking this color grading and slightly with 0.75 strength we are overlaying it and you can see it is a very slight color adjustment but it makes it more like uh, prominent and sometimes if you see the color is slightly changing so this helps to fix it so this is the whole process i hope you liked it and if you have any kind of pro uh, problems or any kind of queries comment down below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible yeah thank you